What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today we are out in the Everglades literally in the middle of nowhere. Now this is somewhere that we have not fished before. First time on this body of water. Brand new area for me. I'm with my buddy Julian from Bite the Bait. It's freaking cold out here. We just made a run and I got the sniffles. But today we're going to dig deep into our MTB Pro Box. Not necessarily today we're doing a slam but we're going to try out every bait in this box if we don't catch a fish on it it's okay but we're gonna see what we can do with what's in here so throughout the day i'm gonna be pulling stuff out of this box showing you what it is and hopefully catching fish on it so let's rig up let's get started i'm super pumped we got plenty of time today hopefully we get some pbs we don't know let's see let's do it all right first thing we pulled out of our box was this weston hypo tease swim bait looks pretty legit has the treb on the bottom as well as the top hook there so hopefully we have some luck with this it looks really good and i heard it swims incredible so we're going to tie this on first second rig i'm going to go with is i think i'm going to put a jig on the spinning setup with this trailer right here this is an interesting lure it is a smart baits color changing lure it's like a little craw changes colors so i'm going to match it up with the jig and that's going on the spinning setup. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention, if you do not know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it is a monthly subscription company that sends out tackle to your front door. So you have a chance to try new stuff every month. It's pretty cheap. I have a discount code. I will leave it in the description below so you can get some money off of your own MTV Pro or regular MTV box and try it out for yourself. So make sure you check it out. Links in description. All right, guys, here we go. Ready, rigged up. First thing I'm gonna use is the jig on the spinning setup so let's see what we can do with this i have a lot of confidence actually something that happened off camera i was just testing to see how this thing looked in the water right next to the boat and a bass came up and hit it so i'm pretty sure we're gonna get some fish on this hey uh, buddy did you yep my first fish there we go on the jig with that smart beats color changing crawl oh, yeah. oh and he's off he's off <laughs> Count it. Yeah. All right, mate. Side looks fire. Two on this side already. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't tell. Can't tell either. I'm gonna go for it right there. Yep, you had him. <laughs> Little guy. Little squeakers. Oh, oh and he's off. <laughs> there you go. the SLR. That one? There we go. Oh, he's better. on. Better fish. Yes, my boy. First big fish of the day. Look at that. So we gotta be real careful. He's right on the top of the mountain. Right on the top of the mountain. I got him. Oh, John, my Woo. with the landing. Look at guys. that fish. Look at that on the smart baits. First Senko. solid fish, dude. I stuck with it. Look at the shoulders on this guy. Oh yeah. First Chunky decent monkey. fish. <laughs> Super pumped about that nice, one, you guys. Dude. Take Good a look job. at that right on the top of the mouth. Perfect hook set. Nice. I picked first fish in the box. Julian's yeah. first decent one. Yeah. Nice. That's a feast. Yep. Little guy. Second squeaker on the jig. Definitely not a keeper, but we'll take him. Jig putting in work. Jig putting in work, man. Let's catch some fish. Here, bud. Got a couple beds right here. Look at those beds, dude. Okay. Yeah, man. Two of them. Or unless those are rocks, I can't tell. But I'm gonna cast them anyway. Oh. What is this? Oh, right That's a good, oh, that was a good fish, dude. I think he came off that bed. Oh my. Back over to it. I think I got a fish. I'm not sure. Oh, you definitely got a fish there. Yep, there we go. That's Flipping giants on that 10 pound test, boy. That's, yes! That's, Woo! That's like a six. That is a really, really good fish, you guys. Holy crap, I didn't realize how big it was. I wouldn't have flipped that. Look at that, you guys. On that jig with that Smart Baits color changing craw. Yeah! Mm, Woo! Buddy, He's long. Huge, man. <laughs> All right. Good job, bro. Thanks, dude. Hell yeah. Look at that. Eat. Beast mode. Nice little jig eat. That's what it's all about right there. That's jig fishing at its best. So happy with this catch. 
monster fish. We're gonna weigh these bad boys at the end, at see the what end. our bag's at. But this guy's going in the well. <laughs> Get in there, bud. I got a fish. Yep, that's a fish. Good one. Yes, another solid one. What the heck? Bowfin. Bowfin. <laughs> <laughs> well, bowfin on the jig. Hey, fish is a fish. We'll take it. Fish, yeah. Jigs just getting them all, dude. Yeah, nice. Probably stop up that jig. I'm not gonna lie. For a second, I thought it was a snakehead. For like two seconds. Really? Yeah, I was like, no way, there's a snakehead out here. What made you think that? Because they look very similar to snakes. Oh yeah. There you go. Nice looking fish, though. On Both, the jig. Too both on the jig. Good fish on the jig. Not bad. Got it. Can't get away from the bowfin. Oh, I got a bite. You got a bite? I think I got a bite. Julian's on. Stuck on the bottom. Nope. You got. Back to back bowfins. Woo! Back to back bowfins. Look at that. Diesel one, though. <laughs> that is a diesel one. Flip that bad boy on here. All right. We'll take him. Oh, my goodness. Why not? You know? Fish is a fish, they fight hard as heck. Julian's is a bit bigger than mine, and he got him dead in his eye. Good thing I got the pliers out, don't worry. I'll take yours off. Ah! Oh! Here goes Julian's fish, Julian's bowfin, pooping all over my damn Here boat. Goes, quick. Later, bud. He's gone. Nice little head dive. My bowfin, you guys, a little smaller than Julian's, but this guy's mouth is full of parasites. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Gross, gross, gross. How do I eat one of these? Later. There he goes. I might. We're, I think we'd be better off fishing. Jesus. Another good fish, huh? No. No. Not even a keeper, but dude, I don't even know where that fish came from. <laughs> I had no idea. I was reeling in and all I felt was pressure. So look, I ate a little 10 incher. Won't make the cut, but first fish on the new craw. Actually, second fish. First one I lost. Yeah. That's a bass. Oh no. I'm stuck in weeds, bro. Oh, he's out. Oh my god, he fell like a giant. Another tweaker. Stick's killing it, man. Yeah, man, that jig is fire. Bound to get a big one. Another little guy. He was in the pads, so he felt like a 10 pounder. Hey, bud. All right, guys, here we go. Swim bait action right now. Pretty excited. Let's see, we'll see. Maybe a giant will eat it. It's gonna be hard to get into the pads because this thing has a nice sharp treb on the bottom of it. So we will see. Told you to get a bass. Oh my god. Dude, was that on your bait? Oh, oh my, my god. god. You got a giant right there, probably. Dude. Dude. That was like crazy. That was a crazy hit. Not big, but he's definitely a keeper, you guys. Got one on the swim bait. Look at that. Crushed it. Whoa. I was not expecting that, man. No, back to back. Obviously, Woo. yours is much better than mine. But he wanted that bad, man. Awesome, dude. He wanted that so bad. Another one for the bucket. Look at that. There we go. That's the Weston swim bait. I think it's like a five or six inch. He swallowed that treble. See that bottom treb, you guys? Really comes in handy because look, that top hook isn't even hooked. It's that bottom treble that got him. Dang, kid. This is our fifth fish. Hey, right, guys. Second one on the swim bait. He completely demolished it both hooks this time not a bad one not a bad one bro they're slaying the swim bait i didn't think i was gonna do this good on the swim bait you guys third one on this swim bait this this thing is sick the glare though the weston swim bait five inch six inch i believe it is Killer. Not a giant yet, but I think we're due on this swim bait for a giant, to be honest. On him. Yeah. Messing around with him. You could have replaced that with the dead one. He's like the same, that was like the same size as the dead one. I was messing with him. Yeah, that's why you just whoop, plop him up. Yeah, it's all right. No, I'm on now. There you go. Squeak. Squeaker, guys. Second little fish on the jig. The jig bite is just not as hot as it was earlier this morning. Thinking about straying away from the box really quick and putting a buzz bait on. I really, really want to try a buzz bait. Nice little nose dive right there. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, 
That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Got him on the frog, you guys. Really subtle bite. God, he's a jumper, dude. No, stay down. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh my god, yes, baby. Working at it, bro. Working at it, trying to get that sick frog bite. And decided, hey, it's late evening. Let me put a frog on. First solid frog fish. Oh my god. He like, dude, like barely, just barely took it. He's such a big fish, and he just like scoop right off the butt, right off the top. Guys, this guy's going in the box to take some photos later. Look at that box. You guys can't see, but there's some can't even see some him, big ones in there. All right, ready? Close it, close it, close it. He's gonna go crazy. Oh. That one out. All right, guys, we are done for the day. As you can see, we are running out of daylight. It's getting dark quick. I had a blast today with my buddy Julian. I took out the MTB Pro, did a little, it wasn't much of a slam. I didn't want to catch a bait on every lure in this box, but I decided to try my best with what I could in the box. And we did really good. I used a swim bait, I used the jig, I used two kinds of craws, and we caught some really, really good fish. We got some decent sized bass in the box. So if you guys want to check out MTB Pro or just MTB products in general, link will be in the description. Please use the code, save some money, get a box, go out, fish, and catch some good ones. But right now we are going to head back to the makeshift boat launch and see how much these fish weigh. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to weigh these fish now. We're going to see kind of what our bag is, except over there so they don't fly out. So here's the first fish. I don't, I think this is the biggest one. I'm not sure. I guess I'm just pulling them out of the box Get randomly. Belly Get a belly on that. Yeah. So he weighs. I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is the heaviest one, but we're pulling them out of the box one by one, regardless. He weighs. Dang. Three, one, three. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter? Yep. 3.13 pounds. So that's a that's solid a fish, you guys. That's a nice, healthy three pound bass yes, we're gonna sir. let him go all right buddy later swim off ones in order before we start weighing any small ones all right here's another big one put him on the scale he weighs i say two wow he's bigger than i thought what's he weighing 2.35 2.35 all right we're at almost six pounds all right so that's a nice two and that's a quarter pounder. really nice fish right there. We're going to go ahead that. and send them away. What a beaut. Later, buddy. Uh, there he goes. All right. Here's, Location that we've never fished before. <laughs> Here's chunker number three. Look He's at this little donkey right here. Third biggest oh, one. Oh, my goodness. No way. This guy saves another solid three, man. We didn't. What a beaut. All right. This guy weighs in at 255. All right. Two and a half. So two add, five five. add two po 2.55. Go. Yes, sir. Later, buddy. Three fish down, two fish to go. Fish number four. Let's see how much he weighs. I say a pound. Yeah, he's kind of small. Wow. 1.36, dude. 1.36. I'll take it. I thought he was smaller than that, but here we go. 1.36. We're going to let him go. 9.56 pounds. Here's our fifth and final fish. Hopefully, we could do break at least a 10 pound bag. I would have thought we would have had 15 pounds today. Those other ah. three fish, they look so big. I know. They look but, bigger than they were. But. Man, these bass, man, they'll play with your emotions. They'll tell, they'll make you think you got a big old bag. And There we go. He comes in at 1.20. 1 1.20, baby. So we broke. 10, 10 pounds. pounds there you go 1.20 six ounces let me see that for a beautiful day good job out in the florida everglades see your calculator 10.76 bag that's not too bad for the first time out here guys we tried our best and we did pretty damn good all right guys so that is going to wrap up today Ugh, we had a little over 10 pound bag it was a really really awesome day we were new to this area I think we did pretty damn good. Please go subscribe to my buddy Julian from Bite the Bait. Check out his version of this video. It was two point of views. We had a lot of fun. Show him some love on the channel. Comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as hit that bell button so you guys are notified with all my new videos that I post. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. We're out of here. We're hungry. Starving. Starving. Not even hungry. Starving. Need some real food. Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. All right. We'll see you guys later.